Greetings, this is Preacher Rick with a message about shouting today. How long has it been since you shouted for joy, whether it be because you had a baby born in your family or because someone won, won a ball game, maybe your grandchild or your son or daughter or maybe your sibling, uh, but shouting for happiness and joy, and it's in the Bible. Uh, there's a lot of people that are uh, that believe you should be so conserved that uh, so conservative and so quiet that you should never shout or be the least bit noisy. Uh, but that's not the way the Bible reads. Matter of fact, uh, it even talks about the rocks crying out if we didn't. Uh, you know, God wants us to cry out for joy and shout down the glory. Thank God forever. Have you ever shouted for joy for the Lord? Well, let's read a little bit about it in the book of Psalms. The psalmist said, and it's a, a, a psalm of David, it said in the ninth verse of the 132nd psalm, it says, Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints shout for joy. Amen. Let us shout for joy. Uh, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong. Matter of fact, if anything, it's wrong not to shout for joy as good as God's been to us. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with shouting for joy for how good God has been to you. Thank God forever. I'll read a few more verses to you here and there that will bless your heart. And help you over on back in Psalms. We'll go to the 32nd Psalm. And the last verse of that Psalm, verse 11 says, Be glad in the Lord. Well, of course. And rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. When you get your heart fixed right, you got something to shout about. Thank God forever. God is good. He's gracious and kind. Long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. And when we come to that knowledge, we've got something to shout about, don't we? Well, if you go way back to the little uh, the prophet Ezra, uh, you know when they uh, were preparing uh, the the uh, temple uh, and the completion of it was re reconstructed, uh, it says in the third chapter. And the 11th verse, and they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord because he is good. Amen. God is good all the time. All the time God is good. For his mercy endureth forever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout. The Israelites, they shouted with a great shout because the temple had been reconstructed and they were re. Uh, devoting it to the Lord. And when they praised the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. Okay. And then if we go over to the New Testament, I'll get, and that'll be our last turn in the book of St. Luke, the 19th chapter, in the 37th verse, uh, you know, that's when Jesus wrote in uh, in his triumphal entry into uh, Jerusalem. And uh, anyway, uh, uh, in verse 37, it says, And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. So the disciples were praising God with a mighty voice, uh, a loud voice, no doubt, uh, a loud voice, it says, because... Uh, of all the mighty works that they had seen. Uh, and, you know, we haven't been there with Jesus on earth like the disciples were, but he's with us every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He never sleeps. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. And we've seen his mighty works. I've seen his mighty works firsthand in saving my family and friends and neighbors and blessing me down through the years with great and wonderful things that are too numerous to mention in the few minutes I have to preach. But God has been good to me, and I praise him for that. So, you know, 
uh, when you go back to where we started out in the 132nd Psalm, and the David wrote, "Let thy in the ninth verse, let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints shout for joy." It starts to all come together, doesn't it? We understand why uh, that it's written, let thy saints shout for joy, because we've got joy in our hearts. It's, the Bible says it's joy unspeakable and full of glory. Let us pray for a moment. Our most kind and gracious Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the glory that you've shown us that we can shout about, that we thank you for the uh, a wonderful gospel of our Lord and Savior that we could uh, preach the truth and get people saved. We thank you for this Facebook Live, Dear God, ministry that you've given us where we can come in people's homes and cars and wherever they are, and we can preach your unsearchable riches wherever people are during this pandemic. We're just so thankful, Lord, for all your blessings, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. And amen. Shouting the glory down. Uh, thank God forever. You don't see uh, a whole lot of shouting nowadays, but you know, uh, uh, I've heard people say, well, they used to shout or they used to do this or they used to do that. Well, there's the there's the whole point. It's, uh, you know, the Bible teaches that God never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So if they, whoever they is, uh, whether it be someone we knew when we were young or whether it be uh, our grandparents or our great-grandparents, parents, uh, when we say they used to, we uh, think of them in a warm light, uh, and it warms our hearts to know how they would run the aisles and shout the glory down. Uh, I don't believe you have to shout to be a Christian. Of course not. Uh, no more than I believe you have to wash feet to be a Christian, but the happier are you if you do these things. Uh, and if we have joy in our heart and we share it, uh, uh, we can be like the disciples. We've seen great things. We've got, we can shout loud. Uh, uh, because we have seen these great things that God has done in our life. And uh, it's a blessing is what it is. It's not uh, uh, making you a Christian. Uh, uh, it's not making one Christian holier than another Christian. Of course not. Uh, uh, but it's a blessing is what it is. Uh, it's a blessing to be in a worship service where the Spirit of the Lord is at liberty uh, and where we have liberty in our hearts to shout the glory down uh, and to praise the Lord Jesus Christ for saving our our souls, uh, for giving us a hope beyond uh, this veil of tears that we live in, uh, for giving us, thank God, of His grace and His goodness uh, in our daily life, that we can always overcome evil with good, uh, and we can be uh, enduring through things that we normally couldn't or don't feel like we could. Uh, it's so good to have the Spirit of God in our hearts, uh, and when we have this goodness, the same goodness that led us to repentance to begin with, uh, because because the Bible says that it's the goodness of the Lord uh, that leadeth thee to repentance. And when you see that goodness, uh, when you see how gracious the Lord Jesus Christ is, uh, when he forgives you of all your sins uh, and you're born again into the family of God uh, uh, and new life takes a boat in your heart and the Holy Spirit is there uh, to direct you into all truth and righteousness, uh, uh, why, it's shouting ground. Uh, it's something to be happy about, a great joy and gladness in our heart. Uh, uh, just as I said earlier, so, uh, if your grandson uh, 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 hits a grand slam in baseball or hits a, uh, you know, uh, the tennis ball and wins a big uh, tournament or uh, anything of that nature, uh, why, uh, you, you know, like I've seen people just jump for joy and shout, and rightfully so, nothing wrong with that. Uh, uh, well, they've got something to be joyful about. Uh, uh, well, how much more uh, do we have to shout about when we realize that Jesus uh, died on the cross to save our souls uh, and he has saved us and given us a new life. Uh, thank God uh, uh, he has uh, given us abundant life. Uh, uh, thank God that goes beyond this life. Uh, uh, oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, uh, where is thy victory? Uh, the Bible says we've been made more than conquerors. Uh, 
I, I know I wasn't there. Of course, I wasn't born yet when World War II ended, but I've watched films where they're all shouting in the streets and uh, kissing one another and hugging and shouting and screaming and glory. Uh, hallelujah. The war is over. Uh, rightfully so. They had everything to shout about. Uh, uh, how much more, once again, do we have to shout about? Uh, thank God we got plenty to shout about. Uh, Jesus Christ uh, is still alive and well. Uh, he conquered death, hell, and the grave. Uh, he came out of that old tomb. Uh, thank God and he's sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercession for you and I. Uh, I say glory. Uh, hallelujah. That's shouting ground for me. Uh, it's wonderful to know uh, that the grave uh, is not going to hold this body down. Uh, it's wonderful to know that there's a rapture coming where we'll be caught up in the air uh, to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Uh, that makes me want to shout. Uh, that makes me want to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, that makes me want to lift my hands toward heaven uh, and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Glory! Hallelujah! To your loving and holy name for saving a, a wretch like me. I say, uh, shout the glory down. Uh, let it, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Uh, thank God we've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. Uh, thank God by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, uh, my name is in the book of life. Uh, I'm on shouting ground today because uh, I'm a Christian uh, that's a candidate for heaven. Uh, and it's not a matter uh, of if. It's just a matter of when I get there. And I'll see my loved ones that have gone on before. Uh, and Jesus uh, sitting at the right hand of the Father. Uh, what a glory, hallelujah, day that shall be. Until then, I want to shout the glory down, down here, don't you? I want to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ with my being, why I'm here, uh, why I have the uh, health uh, and the ability to praise him. I, I have every intention of it. I say glory to you, Jesus. Thank you for saving me, Jesus. Glory to your loving name. What a wonderful Savior you are. This is Preacher Rick. So glad you joined us today. Shout the glory down. Shout it in your home. Shout it in your car. Shout it in your church. Shout it in the public. Let everyone, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Glory to God. This is Preacher Rick. Share. Push the share button. Get it out there. Let's shout the glory down today. In Jesus' name, love y'all. Bye-bye.